Hello everyone! So today I'm going to share with you how to do the Guo Qiao Sui. That's in Chinese. But in English, we're thinking, we haven't figured out how exactly should it call. What we're going to say there is the a bridge throwing. So what this movement means, basically, you crouch down, how you defense yourself, log in, then take the body, throw over. Okay, so the body looks like a bridge. That's why it's go through over the bridge. Now let me share how we're going to do this. First, you notice my steps. So for example, Lucas here helped me to demonstrate the movement. So if I'm here, force my move my leg, step in close to the target. The second quickly coming to support like half, like mabu. And then my body shoulder is close to the target under the hip area. Don't too high, lower than this. Then the, my arm lock the leg. See? If you can like this, if he stands bigger, you can lock them, you lock one. Okay, you can choose the situation. So we imagine we can lock the two, right? Then push in, then you lift them up. Boom, through over. Well, of course, we don't do that very often. Okay. Together. All right. This is what the same movement once you lock it. For example, if it's too heavy, I couldn't leave them here too long. So uh, what's going to what you're gonna do, you change the technique, you push the leg under the leg, use the body like a rugby, push you forward. Be careful. So push it in like this. Because that is suddenly let him lose the support like a balance, like that. That's the idea. Because it's too heavy, you won't lift him up. So we do it again. My steps, notice my step, sorry. Like this, body step, follow, stronger stand, like a squat. So you're able to lift up heavy stuff. Okay, most of the time we miss is too big, then we could leave up because the stance too big. You don't have strings. Think about it. Close target, like close in. That you're comfortable with. You're able to leave heavy stuff up. You leave him over. That's a step. The body walk. Say, if I'm going this way, I'm going the street, no street away. That will be dangerous. So I keep move side. Did something miss the central line? The central line. See this? I move the same time, then get in. Remember this? Central line, move in, lock. Okay, just in case, because no one hundred percent can defend or miss the things. You have to be. Even if you punch your nose, you just roll. Anyway, okay, move all and get in. So like a dog, no dog, like a dog. Yeah? Left and right and right move in. That feeling. The body, roll. Okay, like rugby, like like this. Use the shoulder area, close the target, lock in. More target, more tight. It's more good for you. More have a gap, situation can be changed. They can easily defend or kick you. Why we call this a soft defense movement? Usually, on the street they fight. The aim always, no always, like a percentage, like 80, 90 percentage. They want to hit on your face. You know, when they like, Okay, my red, they usually like, ah, kick you back. Is that's it. That's it. For this aim, if he focuses on this, he going to punch me. I'm still low. Even he power because he power goes through over there. So I, I'm gonna try to start there. He will fall over by himself. You know the power through forward. So plus, if you know this movement, you drop down like a stone. It easily helps you to throw him over. Sometimes like a push. 
Okay, you can be the hands over. Give your space to drop off. Okay, then do this. If you're working like a competition or something, if the kick can mean you're still able to under lock. Okay, the punch same thing like whoa, whoa, sink. I don't even move. He already moved forward. That's the thing. You may be wondering what's happened if like you drop down, maybe you kick up. Well, this is only by theory. But reality, the time is very real. It's very quick. You don't have time to think. You push me at the same time, like, oh my god, how fast you can go up. Because you don't know this movement you were coming. That movement, but the movement is so scared. How do you know to come down and go up? You know what I mean? So I'm no convincing, I just let you know sometimes the theory and the practical is slightly different. So don't think about too much yet, but think about how to master this movement first. Then think about what's happening that you can defend. Okay, I know some of them are very good. If you're professional, when they lock you, they can drag the gravity low to make you harder. That's the next subject, how we can defend your stuff. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. See, that's it. That's the rating now. <laughs> okay, that's the movement for this week. I hope you get it and uh, practice. Thank you. See you next time. Hello, everyone. I hope you find some value from the video. If you would like to know more about the training, like a true short warrior, welcome to me on my website at kungfu.life where you are able to find a more in-depth, step-by-step Shoulder Kung Fu training programs. I hope you very well and enjoy your day. I see you very soon. Thank you.